If you say you are dating coach of 2024, you will be taken into the back end. Sorry, I don't make the rule. Sorry, I don't make the rule. <laughs> There are very few intelligent, attractive, and straight men in this town. Well, that certainly leaves me out. <laughs> she said single. Just because you had a joke of war to story in relationships, Brad, don't project that onto us. Brad, don't project that onto us. Project that onto us. Well, I must be punished then, mustn't I? You're a naughty boy! You still thinking about an ex that made you pay for stuff? You have Stockholm Central. You have Stockholm Central. You have Stockholm Central. You can marry her! You can marry her! You can marry her! Yes, we are! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another short video here. We have two clips we're going to go over really quick. The first one is going to be from an individual who is sick and tired of dating coaches, dating gurus, dating advice people. And you know what? I'm right there. I'm, I'm right there with them. I made a video earlier about this and, um, we're going to talk about it because it's becoming an issue. Every woman on TikTok thinks they know how to get the perfect man. And uh, also, I have a compilation clip of a video I made a while ago called The Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady. Her TikTok name is called Shira7. And there's a lot of other accounts that use her name and her likeness and just repost and stuff. This is going to be one of those videos. Um, you'll have to excuse the sound in these clips. I had to kind of speed it down a little bit. They were, for some reason, they were like super fast. Uh, and that's just how they were posted online. So I did try to make them look so that we could actually hear what, what, what was being said. But, uh, Let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, if you would hit the like, subscribe if you're if you're enjoying these videos. And um, this is Rat Boy. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you don't like where you live, don't date where you live. Get up out of there. What sign should you avoid when dating men? The negative bank account sign, the minus sign. And you still thinking about an ex that made you pay for stuff? You have Stockholm syndrome. Okay, I, that was kind of hard to hear, but I do want to make a comment about this. And the top of that says, what if he's not attractive, but he has money and wants to spoil me? She says, close your eyes. Now, this is interesting because probably about two weeks ago, I did a little digging. I, I fell into a little bit of a rat hole, if you will. And um, I... Uh, kind of searched this person up. I found some info and uh, let's just say that she is with a man. Um, I was able to find uh, one of her social medias uh, and what I'm assuming is her social media. It, it kind of, it looked legit. You know, I, I, I'm, I didn't get too far into it. I'm not going to uh, post any of it here, obviously, but um. I looked at it. I looked around at what was public and she did post a picture of her man on there or the guy that she, I don't know if they're married or if she's talking. I, I don't know the situation, but let's just say that, um, yeah, she closes her eyes. He is not a, uh, <laughs> you know what he kind of reminds me of? He looks like a uh, Dollar Tree Carl Winslow. If you know who that is, let's continue. Wrong prescription contact lenses and stick them in there. Everything is a blur, baby. You said, Do I worship the devil? And look, all of her advice is just date dudes that have money and then take their money and have like nine or ten dudes and just have money. Um, this is how ARG gets spread. Uh, I don't know if you know what ARG is, but uh, while I was in that rat hole, I kind of saw some other clips about women who who are just spreading these STDs which I think we all know them as STDs but for some reason 
recently it got changed to STI because I guess the the they don't want to be known as having diseases. Um, but a lot of these women like this that just go for the rich dudes um, carry a, a lot of dangerous STDs. One of them is called ARG. And if you're not sure what ARG is, it is this super strand of gonorrhea that just does not go away. No, it's antibiotic resistant gonorrhea. Like once you get it, it is crazy. It is very, uh, very aggressive. And for a guy, like for a woman, you know, they can, you know, their, their little <laughs> stinky holes always going to be there. But I mean, for a guy, it can literally make you impotent. It can, it can keep you from, from ever, uh, you know, from ever having uh, nighttime festivities ever again, literally. Like, there's really nothing you can do about it. So it's women like this that spread this around. And as I was reading through the comments, I kind of fell into this uh, gynecologist page. I'm going to try to find it and make a video on this woman because it was very interesting. But she's, a, she's an OBGYN in, uh, I think, I want to say in New York somewhere. And she was saying nine out of 10 of the women she sees on a yearly basis have some form of STD. And a large percentage of those women have more than two active STDs. So uh, be careful out there. And um, if you go outside of your house, just make sure to wash your hands and just uh, be safe. I don't worship a man. What I look like worshiping a man, stupid. I mean, you're going to do what you think you need to do to get money. You're no different than a uh, street worker. You know, that's all you're doing. I, this is the advice that these women are listening to. And uh, some women actually follow it, which is kind of crazy. But uh, be careful out there, dudes. Keep your wallet and your um, your Jimmy safe. How you doing? If you're on a date and they're looking at another woman, look at the cars. Because a man can be cute and broke, and he knows you ain't going nowhere. But looking at cars is totally different. And this is none of this really matters. None of this really matters because the women that are following this advice are like are like this one right here. They're they're twos and threes. And their their attitude makes them like less than that, you know. They're not they're not wanted. So you know, her posting these videos is giving her the attention that she wants, you know. Bravo! But uh, ultimately, these women are going to end up alone, maybe with money, but they're going to ultimately just be alone with a uh, a bunch of cats in their fifties, and they be hitting the wall pretty hard. God, there's a Bentley. I wonder who's driving that. You know, that way he sees. You're not looking at looks, you're looking at money. But none of that really matters. Like, you're literally going to get what you're looking for. A dude that, sure, he has money, but, I mean, he has, like, maybe six or seven more women on the side that he's messing with. So, I mean, you're, you're literally nothing special, but women like this, what women, women really don't mind sharing a dude that is, that has a six figure salary because, uh, that's what these women want is money. So me, yeah, it's just, don't look at uh, other men, look at car. That'll do. Very interesting. The, the thought process of, uh, some of these thoughts, but let's go into this next one. Now, this woman is, tired of dating gurus 2023 was the last time i wanted to hear about dating coaches i'm a lifestyle i'm a dating expert I'm like, shut that shit the fuck up shut it down that was your last year babe we done if you say you again sorry about the sound it was kind of high pitched and sped up so i did what i could to try to make it so we could listen let's continue you are a dating coach of white boy, boy you'll be taken into the back end Sorry, I don't make the rules, but shall we just shut the fuck up? God damn, like, just because, just because you had a joke or disordered relationships, Brad, don't project that onto us. 
We don't want to go down with you. Let's just stop the obsession with dating all together. I'm fucking done, Brooklyn. But it's not dating, though. What that previous woman was talking about was not dating. It was just uh, selling your body. There's really no other way to put it. I mean, you're with a guy because of money and you're hooking up with him to get that money. That's that's called being a street worker. There's no other, there's no other way to put it. And women actually do this. It's kind of crazy. I agree with what this other uh, woman is saying. Like dating gurus, dating uh, coaches, uh, advice. It just doesn't make any sense they're all getting the wrong advice and it's just uh very it's very dumb it's just very very dumb but let me know what you guys think uh leave me a comment leave me a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed again this is rat boy i am out